calls. She calls, wow. Well, she can still win with an ace here. Didn't happen. The king of spades, and that's an awful board for Lou and her aces. There are all sorts of draws out there, straights, flushes, and what if he just has a spare 10 in his hand? Scott Allen bets 32,000. J.J. Lou getting about four to one on this call, makes it pretty tempting. I call, just call. And she does call. And she is not gonna like what she sees. I see. And Scott Allen has won the hand, a big hand for him, and all J.J. Lou can say is, nice hand. And it was just that, Scott Allen, smiling inwardly, I'm sure. He's having a good old time here at the Aussie Millions, but FullTiltPoker.net made sure all their players had a good time down under. Our own Rebecca Harlow went along for a cruise. Welcome aboard. We are taking a cruise around the Yarra River tonight. We've got some of the greatest poker players in the world, gorgeous views, and lots of good times. Come check it out. While cruising the beautiful Yarra, poker was the last thing on the players' minds. So is it hard to stay focused on poker when you've got so many great distractions? Well, I'm, I don't want to be focused on poker right now. I, I, like, I like the distractions. Flash bulbs were popping as the pros mingled with their fans. Oh, they've been so approachable, too. Yeah. Like, you go up to them, you introduce yourselves, and they're more than happy to, to talk to you and give you yeah. advice for the tournament. Mm -hmm. Jesus uh, looks intimidating, but, you know, you meet him, and you get to know him, and he's a great guy. Of course, being poker players, no night is complete without a deck of cards. Just ask our special cruise director. Here we are down in all sea land. We're about ready to run into a big bridge. Oh, oh. Mike was just fine. And on this night, not a single player could complain about a bad river. Cruise is great. Uh, Crown Casino is really treating us well on this cruise. I'm the king of the world. And a good time had by all. I tell you, Australian wines, I know what a wine aficionado you are. And, uh, little Shiraz in the evening. Getting better and better, aren't they? Yeah. Goes well with a kangaroo steak. Exactly. It keeps leaping off the plate, though. I hate when that happens. <laughs> Joe Hashem's got an ace jack suited again. 75. He'll make it 7,500. And let's see if he gets any takers here. Martin Cottom out of Litham, England. Guess who his favorite player is? I know who it is. Joe Hashem. <laughs> this is like getting to do a TV show with your favorite announcer, Barry Tompkins. Ooh. I'll try and see a flop. And he's going to see a flop. He does have a certain innocence about him, doesn't he? Well, a fold there, and Christy Gazes will also fold. See a flop. And so he will see a flop. There's Jeannie Hashem, Joe's wife, watching in our family section, and rooting her man on. Just two players to the flop here, Cottom and Hashem. And Cottom has come from behind. He's caught the queen on the flop. But Hashem looks like he wants to lead out. I'm all in. He's all in. Boy, well, that, that put the onus. I, do you think he sensed a little timidity on the part of Cottom? He certainly must have. But, I mean, when you've got a queen jack and you catch a queen on the flop, unless Cottom is absolutely certain... Hashem has a king. He's got a call. Don't call him. Saw a flop, kid. Whoa! Saw a flop. He lays it down. And Joe Hashem, I think, muscled young Cotter. He picks up some chips right here at his hometown event. We are coming back to the Aussie Millions. Welcome back to the FullTiltPoker.net Aussie Millions. As we make our way into the record field at the 2007 version of this event, we're looking at the newfound riches of Gus Hansen, our new chip leader and a great front runner. I'm back to the 20 stacks. This is not the guy you want to give a lot of chips. It's like giving a hyperactive child a six pack of soda. Well, from our new chip leader to our former chip leader, Patrick Antonius is in an all in situation. Once again, this time against Barney Boatman, but this time Barney is the one whose tournament life is now at risk. These two seem to be meeting in the middle of the table with alarming frequency, and Barney Boatman had a chance to eliminate Antonius some time ago. Now it is he whose tournament life is on the line. And Antonius has almost a two-to-one edge on him, pair of eights to an ace little to the flop. Deuce, queen, ten on the flop. That is no help to Boatman. Right now, 
Boatman is looking for one of the aces. Well, with a diamond on the end, he could chop this pot. But to win, he'll need an ace. Anything else, he's out. And it is a three, and that will do it. No hit up. So Boatman is gone, and Tonius, once again, has come through. And he has been up and down. So we lose one Boatman, but there's another Boatman still alive. Party's brother Ross doing very well, having just doubled up with aces. Ross now at 212,200 of chips. Now we're in business, man. And, of course, a big smile. Here's where we are right now. 116 players left in the Aussie Millions. Now the average chip sack is 128,793, and everybody's chasing Gus Hansen. Simon Childs, that man right there from England, has joined the feature table, and you see he's got a whole bunch of chips, so he will immediately get a lot of attention from everybody at this television table. And one to note is Joe Hashem. Look at him at 35,000 and change, and he's getting himself into a serious situation here. Fold around to Ryan Fizzler, and Fizzler with an ace eight. Still Fizzler from Waterloo, Ontario. Been playing since he was 12 years old. Thinks about it. Now he'll bet 6,000. Gazes a jack eight, suited. She's going to call. And J.J. Lou looking strong with a king-queen suited. Remember, she is short stacked, however. And it cost her 3600 to see the flop. Nine, king, eight on the flop. Wow, what an action flop. Top pair for Lou. She moves it all in for about 18000 Fizzler and Gazes both have bottom pair, but Gazes also has the flush draw. That's a very powerful combination hand. Fizzler going to contemplate this with bottom pair. Now he throws it away. And Gazes instantly calls. She really has a powerful hand here. Bottom pair doesn't look that great, but when it's combined with that flush draw, it's got tremendous drawing chances. So here we go. Lou and Gazes. Gazes looking for any spade. Another eight, a jack. The tournament at stake for J.J. Lou. On the turn, a seven of clubs. Well, now a ten will complete a straight for Gazes. She's got a million different ways to win. That's not it. It didn't happen. So and Lou will double up. Kind of. Can't fault Christy Gazes for the call. She was getting the right price. But J.J. Lou did what she had to with the short stack, and she is back in the tournament. Yeah. And Lou saying scary draw, and it was that. But she's back in it is right, right close to 60,000 chips now. Well, the Texan, Scott Allen, with an ace jack suited. Raised. He's going to raise 7,000. 7, Good enough to get Fizzler out of the way and Burgess and Gazes. And Simon Childs as well. And Lou looking at a pair of tens. Bunch of newfound chips. 